What's your name? Andrew, Team Team No Cavs. Andrew team Connor no. with Reebok. Team No Cavs. The king of Reebok. That's they they they, they see the shin guards, but they're actually just a hog over there. <laughs> No cabs. What, what do you got going on over at uh, Reebok? What do you do over there? Uh, global marketing. Kind of visit what we call athletes, but really it's just figured out. It's like a bunch of fat people. I guess it's like eating, <laughs> like eating catfish. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like catfish by the athletes. How many times have you been but, catfish? But you're you're sitting next to one of your uh, so-called. No, one of the one of the best over here, Salmon Mike. Yeah. Teach me how to eat and uh, and lift at the same time. We had a peanut butter chocolate oh, we shake. Done that here before. Peanut butter chocolate shake from Burgers and Brew. We drank and lifted before. Whiskey yeah. and deadlifts. We've done some donuts and deadlifts. I drank yeah. and deadlift for like five years straight. <laughs> yeah, Ended got, up in rehab. That's a PR. And making a movie about it. You got a tough job. You got to cut out a lot of stuff to make it PR friendly in here. <laughs> <laughs> you got Monster Energy. You got their cheaters. I didn't know they cheated over there at Reebok too. It's gonna make me break my PR. Yeah, get I don't even have a PR. Wrestlers are in films now. Yeah, I know. But I'm like the only independent wrestler in films, so. Yeah, that's great. So fuck you, yeah. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> I wasn't ready to rumble, but if you don't want to just discredit that, that's okay. <laughs> comes one of the Southern Stomper's signature maneuvers, the Halo! Double knee in the corner, huge spin kick! Let me catch everyone out there, up to speed. That hardy up. Oh, okay, yeah, nobody. I can see the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Just like your old man, you don't have any respect. You didn't just slap any kid. Your dad's gonna get more of the same. You slapped the son of the Southern Stomper, Luke Hawk. You went ahead and signed your death certificate, man. This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. I'm here with some normal people from Super Training. And now we have some abnormal visitors <laughs> over here. So we have Luke Hawk, <laughs> professional wrestler, and also stuntman. We have Andrew, who represents Reebok. Ladies, he's got single. A... It's at Andrew Connor underscore. <laughs> Check out the man bun. Show, them, show everybody the man I'm bun. I'm here to make them look big. It's a, it's a clip in man bun. He's here to make us look bad is probably what's going to happen. But we're going to watch these guys deadlift. We're going to do something a little different today. Not a normal how-to, but we're going to watch them deadlift, and we're just going to fix Whatever we see that's fucked up. <laughs> so here we go. It's gonna be everything. Luke, Luke hop in there, buddy. Right. Don't fuck I'm also up. just gonna lift with him. This is kind of the way super training normally works. Checking out the boots. That's some sort of sumo slash weird movement. So, so we got like, hey, I don't know what the fuck is going on. That's okay, that's okay. We got a couple good things going on. The, the butt looks great. The, yeah, the ass is fucking on fire. The back is flat. Hips are lower than the shoulders. Did you shit your pants? Not yet. Oh, so he got three out of four. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. That's a B, I think. That's pretty damn good. Normally, what we're trying to do when we're going to do a conventional deadlift or a sumo deadlift is we're trying to just pick and choose what stance we're going to go with. So, if you're going to go sumo, let's have you go wider. Uh, nor normally, we get people out to about where they're ringing, so that's a good kind of starting position. And because you're not a fat guy, some fat guys would would uh, be further away from the barbell. And some guys who aren't very mobile may be about this distance from the bar. But I think you're athletic as a wrestler. You're probably pretty athletic. So get up closer to the barbell. You got those sleeves on so you're not gonna scuff up the shins. Maybe a little closer. And uh, now you're gonna kind of, you're gonna uh, bend at, from the, uh, sorry, you're gonna go from the hip down to the bar. There you go like that, yep. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the back is rounded right now. What we need to do is we need to work on sitting back and sitting down and flattening out the back all at the same time. And then we're gonna deadlift with our hips lower than our shoulders. Leave your arms long, chest up. There you go. Pull the weight from there. Nice. There you go. Look at that. From professional wrestler to professional deadlifter. Just like that. 
Try one more rep and then we'll do some conventional. So that's a sumo stance. Legs out wider than where the hands are. And now we're just going to do the reverse of that. Feet are going to go in close. Usually they're within the parameters of the smooth part of the bar. And then your arms are going to go outside of where your legs are. Whatever's comfortable for you, grip wise, doesn't matter too much. Again, he uh, just bent from the waist. The back is pretty rounded right now. He's going to work on flattening out the back, bending the hips, goes arms, long. arms long, and he's going to pull from there. there we go. And because Luke is athletic and because he's been training for a long time, he already has the muscle mass to be able to get into this position. A lot of times people think mobility only has to do with just your flexibility, but it also has to do with your ability to hold the position and your strength. So he's got some lats on him, he's got some arms and some triceps on him. He's got an ass that won't quit. And he's able to still get in a, uh, in a pretty good position there. And lay face with an open booty. Yeah. All right, get out of here. Next, next up. Go conventional first, feet close together first. All right, you guys are warming up, I'm just setting up the yard. <laughs> it is a world record attempt for him. The strongest man but in the West. She talk him through it there, Silent Mike. Yeah, keep going. You want to see more glutes? Yeah, yeah, All right, let's try two little things. So uh, what we're we'll trying to do is probably move your stance in a little bit. Just going to shorten that range of motion even more, even more. You're not as wide as you may think you are. Two, we're going to go hands right on the outside. And what we're going to try to do, uh, Luke, you too a little bit, is we're going to try to not only uh, pull that bar towards us, so we're going to cover our armpits with our shoulder. Yeah, there we go. And then also, we're going to use the bar to hold us up. So what we're going to do is almost start leaning backwards, find that tension, and then pull from there. Yep. And then also think about if we were to undo the flowing locks and man bun, <laughs> we wouldn't want the man bun and the flowing locks to hit your back, so you want your head down more. There we go. Look at the cameraman. Good. There you so go. cover those. Good. Weight ah, back. There you go. Good. Now pull. There you go. Good. What do we got, Smelly? If he gains 20 pounds, maybe a 650 deadlift? I was going to say 950. <laughs> You know, it, it's, uh, people always talk about how to get tight. You know, the act of getting tight is really just as simple uh, as getting the many, many steps that are involved in deadlifting right. You gotta get yourself right and then you'll feel tight. Get it right, get it tight. So, because I'm not done and I'm max out there? That was yeah, good. Yeah, that was good. Okay, sumo. Uh oh. Okay, get a little closer to the bar. Okay, now you're gonna do the same thing. So, flatten this back out, pull your shoulders into yourself, uh, hips a little bit higher. There you go. Use that bar, head down. Good, now pull from there. Good. There you go. Often, uh, some guys can get away with kind of an Olympic style shoe here. He has the, the lifters on with a conventional. We won't typically recommend it with a sumo because we want that shin line more visible on a sumo than we do a conventional. If your knees come forward a little bit on the conventional, it's okay because you'll get a little bit of quads involved. On the sumo, it's not so great because the bar path will get all crooked. Yeah, an Olympic lifting shoe is not a bad idea to try on a conventional deadlift if you're having trouble uh, getting your legs involved in the lift. When I do a uh, conventional style deadlift, it's a little different looking. I go a little wider. I like to roll the bar into me a little bit. We would go wider too if we had an eight foot schlong in there. Yeah, yeah, you got to get that wiener out of the way. So I'm just going to do the same thing these guys did, get the back flat, bring the hips down, pull myself into position, pull from there. What's the points between the difference between the sumo and the conventional? So why? Um, convent, or so a sumo deadlift a lot of times is a shorter range of motion. So sometimes somebody will get out real wide here like this, and, and for some people they're very mobile through their hips and they're able to really force their knees out really well. I'm not all that great at it, but a lot of times people will be here and here, and the range of motion is right here. Whereas with conventional deadlift, conventional deadlifts have a lot more lower back. And sometimes people that hurt their lower back will move to some sumo deadlifting, or a lot of lifters that maybe have longer limbs will switch to a uh, sumo deadlift. So conventional is a lot more lower back, even when you try to get your legs involved, still a lot more lower back than the sumo pull. So it's really a matter of like what feels best. Whatever way it feels best, that's the way that you're gonna try to use in a competition. Right. Yeah, you know, like Mark said, uh, you know, for most athletes and even powerlifters like you guys, right, kind of more triathlete, wrestler, I would probably suggest just training both often because you're right. gonna get different benefits slightly from both. And what about stiff leg versus like regular? So what we do for stiff leg is always a secondary movement to help build upon the main deadlift. Okay. So we'll always do some kind of deadlift first, 
whether uh, it's plain deadlift from the ground, uh, maybe we'll do a deficit, so we're standing on a plate, make the range of motion bigger. Sometimes the bar, uh, the plates will be on a bumper, so we're doing a, a lesser range of motion, like a block pull or rack pull. And then the stiff leg would be kind of secondary. Uh, even though it's not necessarily an isolation movement, we'll use it as such. Yeah, because I'm always focused more on uh, probably my upper body. More What's that accent from New York? New Orleans, <laughs> you say, but it's New Orleans. Yeah, so like the uh, the stiff leg and stuff like that just doesn't allow you to lift as much weight. Right. Maybe the same idea as like if you only did flies, or should you do some bench press here then? Because you're gonna you what peck, peck deck a hundred pounds, but you can bench two twenty five. Right. Throw another red one on there. Yes. I think me and Smeller are gonna do like sets of six or eight. Maybe we'll have you guys just work up to a single. How's that sound? Hold on, hold on, Luke. hold on. Oh. You guys put the. Go ahead. He just wants us to film the conversation. No, it's just good for uh, transition. Boom, boom. Yeah. So up to the next wave. You guys leave me alone. I'm a crook. Mm -hmm. So, so if I gotta like, if I can do 405 stiff leg yeah. deadlift, can you push it on there a little more? You know, laser. What, what, what should my normal deadlift be? Hey, if you're doing, especially if you're doing 405 for reps. Um, well, it's like two or three. Okay. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you should be able to do about 500. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially when, when you get your form down. Yeah. Six. Yeah. yeah. People try to complicate the deadlift, but the simple is really just trying to get the back flat. Powerlifting in general is you're trying just to maintain a position throughout a range of motion. If you can no longer maintain that position, go ahead, Luke. If you can no longer maintain that position, you might want to just go lighter. Is it better to pull really quick or slower? You're better, to, you're better off, especially in the beginning, kind of pulling methodically, yeah. trying to actually pull the weight rather than try to like, rip the weight. And you often to say, uh, let's just do three. You often say you're trying to make love with the bar, now fuck it. Mm-hmm. There you go, good. good. Even a little lower with the hips. Well, good. Uh, stand up for, or just get in front of the bar here for a second. Um, one thing you're not doing is you're not pulling yourself down with the bar. So grab the bar and make sure you're really pulling yourself down. Pull your hips down, pull your lower back nice and tight, and go from there, right there. Yep, every time. Yep, good. Okay, I feel the difference. Yeah. And, and each time, also, make sure you're getting, getting in a lot of air in your stomach. Take a nice deep breath, pull that air in your stomach, and then pull as I just showed you right there. Okay. Get your air, pull yourself down with the bar. There you go. Good. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Should I be let, releasing when I get to the top, or should I be? Yeah, it's always good to follow it down. Just good practice. What? Try to get double the work if you follow the bar down, you know? the uh, outer forearm muscle right here. That's for the likes. To try to intimidate. Did you guys see that? Did you pick yeah. that up? It's for the likes. He's kind of getting that. Is, it, is, <laughs> is there ever a problem over to at the top? So yeah, if you so come up, we'll or... lean back maybe a little excessively. Not a good idea. Just like it's not good for anything excessive to do that. Best cue to lock out is just stand as tall as you can. When you stand as tall as you can, you typically will flex your quads and glutes. And we're just going to stand tall rather than overextending. We call it fully erect. Yeah. Stand erect. <laughs> Stand as erect as you can handle. But if it happens for long, more than four, four hours, call Silent Mike. You can do it. Put your back into it. Talk about erect. Shorter shorts are I'm mainly for the viewers. <laughs> for all three of the ladies watching. Yeah, yeah. Get uh, a little weight on there. <laughs> Either of you guys ever use a belt? No. And hey, we'll mess with it right now. Yeah, 
into our stomach. I, li I like to think about breathing below the belt, and then you're going to try to expand yourself this way. Okay. So more in the belly than the upper chest. Not chest at all. So filling the lungs won't really stabilize. Sorry, it's my uh, Fleetwood Mac going on. That's, That's awesome. awesome. For, uh, it's better than the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> New Orleans. Okay. I'll go ahead and put that on silent so... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Yeah. I don't want to asshole for the rest of the film. There you go. Yeah, so we'll just basically breathe, and we want to uh, flex the stomach, sides, and low back. People talk about breathing your low back. It's a hard thing to feel or think, but basically just breathe like this. And then you want to hold yourself down. That's just going to protect our spine a little bit, allow us to move more weight. So it's almost like the exact opposite of like a selfie app picture. You know, the exact opposite. Okay. All right. I'm good at the selfie app. He understands app, the Instagram. Right? See, you thought you so, thought, my, uh, you thought my friend was an get, idiot, but he's smarter than all angle, of you, know, <laughs> you know about the <laughs> elevator? <laughs> You know about the elevator, like if you use the shirt, you can kind of like get the right lighting on. Oh, you use your shirt as a reflector Wait, shield? No, no, no. So like, so, no, no, no. So <laughs> you lift your shirt up oh. and, and you flex your abs and you find the yeah, shadow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. get the right shadow. Well, when you lean back, like if you're just shirtless, like it might not get the same angle. You know, I learned same all the time. <laughs> Wait, where did the elevator come in? That's what it's called. That's what it's called. It's called it's the fucking move. elevator pose. It's fucking elevator. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag elevator pose. Who's up? That's, That's from. Uh, just go two or three again. Ron Paltrow. Oh, so, so I mean, do you know, sumo or sumo? Let's go to stay conventional. Looks pretty good. Elevator pose. He's one of them. That's great. So yeah, that's a see, pro you're doing a lot of elevator uh, ab, ab self. He's a pro bodybuilder. He knows. I know. Good. Nice big breath right now. There you go. Good. Money. That's the best way to do it. Take your time. That's good. No, that was a little rushed. Each time you want to wait. Kind of use the barbell as a cue. The barbell should make contact with your body. As soon as it does, then it's time to lift. And it did on the first one, and it didn't on the second one. Bitch, we ain't rushing, so bitch, why are you rushing? Yeah, bitch, please. Bet, so That's what I'm saying. Bench, please. I should let right now did not sign a waiver before entering this gym. Well, let's hope we're fine. It's not your butthole. And shoot through the slingshot logo. <laughs> That's an expensive logo. Oh, no, so nice, big breath in here. You just cover your lats. Pull your shoulder. There you go. Money, get one more. Big breath. Pull that weight into your body tight. Go under over, yeah. Good, keep it close to you. my best I ever did, setting the PR, and Mike comes in and just makes me look like a complete bitch, which I idolize, it's awesome, Banging out them reps. Good. Nice big breath, lock those shoulders and get your weight back. Get flat now, let's go, come on. You can do it. Pull it into you. Just stay with it. Yeah. Stay on. with it, stay with it. Come on. Take a second, it's gonna take three seconds to get off the floor. Try turning these out this way. Yeah. Man, it's not my grip here. It's fucking heavy. It's no, you got it, you got it. No, I saw the bar starting to roll. Okay, get those as tight as you can on your wrist. Squeeze the bar nice and tight. Push. Push. Okay, nice big breath. Let's go. Let's go. Good. 
Good lock your shoulders in, big breath, step falling back. There you go. Come on, yep, come on, yep, come yep, on, yep. come on. Damn, yeah. That's fucking heavy. Wait two seconds. Yeah, I think you got it. Let's go after Mark. You got that shit, Andrew. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. You do. I think that's, that's gonna be my max. Huh? I, I think you just blocked yourself out though. Well, and first just, one. Because yeah, on the first one. Because when you came up here and before they put that on, you did that shit with no problem. Yeah. yeah. When you tell me what I'm doing, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I think I'm doing what you're telling me, but I'm probably not at sometimes. You know, like yeah. I, I get. You're pretty. You're pretty accurate in doing what I'm asking you to do. Um, with the exception of like maybe the last set. Yeah. So you've been following it all along. The main, the main thing is just the effort, is that you try. Right. And that you, you try to execute, because there's always gonna be like these default positions your body's gonna go to. So if you're just, if you're trying to execute it, then you got it, you know what And I mean? then I'm watching you coach Andrew's form. So right. when he's getting down here, and I'm seeing, I'm going, holy shit, I'm probably not doing that correctly. <laughs> right, because right, I right. you know, right, right. I feel myself getting out of place. And I know it, so now I know the next time, but I need to come back and correct and do it. Right. Fortunately, we do have a scale. <laughs> so he's minimum, minus the belt, he's minimum 225. Let's Close go on. wham. Hold on, wait my brother here. All right, wait till it zeroes out here. What are you saying you weigh? I was like 218, about three oh, days Oh, he kind of raised it, he started at 215. <laughs> Let's see what you got, buddy. All right. Oh, he's under! He's under! He wasn't bullshitting! 216, 217. Fucking pro wrestler that doesn't lie. Look at that. <laughs> On camera though, in the ring, 227. That's right. So that's just, right. Well, what, can we, uh, what do you call it, Photoshop those numbers in a yeah, little bit yeah. and add about 10 pounds on me? Yeah, so, throw a little extra weight on there for some wrestling. Faster. Bigger, stronger, faster. Bigger, stronger, faster. I'm about 175 with so zero of it. That's not bad. 216 and a half. And I just pulled a uh, 505 for my first time, thanks to Smelly. There you go. And Simon Mike. And super training gym. <laughs> Topical steroids. I'm putting a glaze on myself. I don't know. Came from Marcus, it can't be safe.
able to get it done, but like you all fell, we're never going to hear the end of it from these two. That's a good showing by Joey Ryan. Uh, he's definitely someone to look out for. What we had these guys do, we had them work up to a heavy deadlift. Um, but really, if you want to get strong, strength comes in the amount of work that you do. So now we're going to take these guys back down and weight. We're not going to let them off the hook. We're going to put an appropriate weight on there that we think that they can handle for multiple reps. Maybe a few sets of five, two to three sets of five reps. We're going to go back, make, we're going to go back, make sure the form is okay. Because when the weights get heavy, that's not a great time to really be uh, perfecting your form and your technique. A great time to be uh, perfecting your form and technique is when the weight's a lot lighter. So we're going to go down and wait two to three sets. All right, so what we're moving into here is we're going to have them do five repetitions. Each repetition is going to be a uh, single, but basically five singles in a row. So he's going to lift the weight. He's going to return the weight to the floor pretty much the exact same way that he picked it up. When he gets to the top, he's going to hold it for a two count. He's going to regather his air, get himself tight, so that on the way down he doesn't throw out his back. He's going to return the weight to the floor slowly, gently, precisely. Try not to make any noise on the way down. He's going to let go of the bar and stand back up without the barbell and then proceed to do another rep. He's going to repeat until he's done with five repetitions. And the reason why we're doing that is because the execution of one heavy rep is what we're really after. And so in his case and in some of the case of uh, some beginners, this is a great drill to do. You can still do touch and go. A lot of those movements are great. There's a time and place for them. You saw me doing them earlier. Mike was doing kind of a half breed in between what I'm gonna have him do and what I did for the dick today. There's time and place for each thing, but right now I want him to know what it feel, feels like to execute one rep perfectly. So we're gonna do this as five singles. You look confused. Yeah, yeah, I'm so just making sure I'm letting go of the bar. So you're gonna set time. one up, nice, slow and control, as tight as you can. Yeah. Let go, single, control, stand up, single, five of them. Okay. He knows my confused look. <laughs> probably, probably a normal face being from Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than my old lady knows probably. That's, real, that's great. <laughs> she thinks you're getting it, but you're really not. That's awesome. But I'll never let her know that. That's right. That's no, something. she can't know. She can't know the truth. That's a whole, that's a whole other training session. There you go, good. Okay, control, the grip. A lot of times when you return back to an exercise, it's going to feel like death the first rep, but you got to go through with it. you got to finish up your work. Let's go, Luke. Come on, Luke. Here you go. Good. Good, yep. Yeah. There's two. There you go, Luke. Yep. Good. Get the hips a little lower, so use those legs. We got two more reps to go. Good pull it into you. Right from there, yep. Nice. nice. Good. Good. Now we just have one more rep. If you need to take a little extra time, it's not a big deal. If you need 10 seconds as opposed to five seconds, as long as you're executing the lift the right way, that's what we're after. Nice big breath, pull that way to need. There you go, good. Nice. Good set. Oh, yeah. The effort that it took him to finish those last two to three repetitions is really what we're after. Go back and watch the tape. Go back and watch him pull that 505 for one rep. He pulled the 505 for one rep. It was probably a little bit easier than those last two reps right yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah, actually yeah. it was. So you can achieve a lot. You can get a lot out of a little, and that's what we're trying to do here. That's what uh, she told uh, me. The pants. Did you check his pants? Did you shit yourself? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he's got something back there. <laughs> that's, what the, yeah, that's what the heels always do. They're always like, and they, but they have something in their hand. Uh, I just wanted to check to see if he shit his pants. Uh, not, not if he had a foreign object. Oh. I know he's got foreign objects. Come on, <laughs> fucking wrestler. Too much. Yeah, what did uh, a roll like of quarters? What you're always having? I mean, like four. Yeah, 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 four. That's right. Yeah. Hepatitis C. Remember, remember, <laughs> Macho Man had that giant. Um, Who was trying to reach into the crowd for the garbage can? Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner. 
those old those old WCW games. Mm -hmm. If I can reach in the crowd and get like a big chair or a garbage mm -hmm. can. Or a stop sign. Yeah, yeah, stop sign. It's always this. I remember Tess got hit with a pizza box. And he sold it. Like it was he no sold it. We're like, no, don't sell the pizza box, but he did anyway. <laughs> and I don't know if Tess sold the pizza box or not knowing if he did it on purpose. He didn't know. I, well, yeah, it could have been a big joke. That Can't steal. I might. I might get in trouble for a gimmick infringement if I do this. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't trying to get no lawsuits on this man. Trying to do the. <laughs> You got abs, man. You're good. <laughs> yeah, you got your I do not have abs. <laughs> Elevator abs. I can... Get a big breath. Pull it into you. Get your weight falling back. There you go. There you go. You got control on the way down. Put the weight down. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Right. There you go. Go ahead and get your mix. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, keep that chin tucked and down. There you go. Chin close to your chest. Yep. There you go. Good. Yep. Nice, dude. Perfect. Time. You got it. There you go. Nice. Luke is fatiguing. Luke is fading. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> Man, the shorts be with you. you go, good. Up. Good. Four That's more. really good. Use that booty. Let's go, man. Stay nice and tight. Do it. Good. Pull all the in your body. Pull chest up. Yeah, buddy. We are. Uh... There you go. Damn. We are. Stop, my man. We are, um... We're pretending like we lift weights. You guys are yeah. supposed to be lifting. We're filming oh, this, shit. and you guys are FaceTiming. So we're FaceTiming. Face yeah. We're... Hey. It's Ashley Horner. Yeah. It's just not hey, anybody. Hey, what are you doing out there? We're trying to lift yeah, you. She on the beach. Oh, we got kids. There's a She's kid just there. chilling on the beach. Saw a kid. <laughs> Today, so this dude comes on my page. He's like, "Man, I fucking see girls pull easier than that. I pull 500 <laughs> easier than that, right?" Hold it down, right? So I go on this yeah, dude's page, yeah, and he's got yeah, fucking wait, wait me, uh, tits. Yeah, and they look like you, ever, you remember uh, Boys in the Hood, the sex scene with I think Stephen Long in the sex scene, That's been the long tits. Time I've seen it, but. <laughs> it looked like tits. that. That's what it reminded me of. So I go on his page, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, why do you fucking tits look like the fucking sex scene from Boys in the Hood? <laughs> And he goes, that's fucked up, bro. You're going to come on my page and talk about my nipples. That's fucked up. I said, dude, you just came on my page and talked some shit. So why are you fucking complaining about crying about me coming to Well, I talked about your strength. I didn't talk about your nipples. That's <laughs> great. So nipples fucking, are sensitive. You, know, yeah. you hit a sore subject right there. Yeah, nipples are sensitive. So where did it end? Just that? that? It, it, it ended with him. I told him, I said, hey, dude, stop breastfeeding and you'll be fine. 
And that's it. Next time you just back. drop like hashtag pancake tits yeah. and you really get some every time. That's where it ends. That's awesome. I screenshot it. They get some every time. <laughs> like how many hashtag pancake tits have you done? I don't know. It sounds like you've done a lot of them. <laughs> and it's all like my post. <laughs> pancake nipples, pancake ass, pancake this, pancake this. Here we go. Five easy singles. Let's go. Jason you stay on the side? The last rep. He won't do it. Don't whip it so hard as hell. Whip it! Oh! oh. You gotta Is go that like you, Hercules? Well, yeah, there you go. So many likes. Dude. <laughs> I see it just Pancake tits. Pancake tits. Sorry. Am I the only one that's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just finished up. We wrapped up doing some deadlifts. We went heavy. I did uh, 575 for foe. Silent Mike beat me, he did 575 for five, but that's kind of what training here at Super Training is all about. It's always about competing against each other and uh, battling it out a little bit. Then we had these guys lifting. And you went heavy, I didn't go heavy. Well, like, you, you both hit PRs, right? They were trying. Oh, yeah. But how, how do you feel? How do you feel, Luke? Dude, fuck. Like, uh, I got my <laughs> ass kicked a little bit, but I mean, yeah. good. I, I'm, I'm confident I'm uh, definitely on a high. I mean, it's yeah. a PR for me, it's 505. I'm weighing it at 216 today. Uh, I don't know what the ratio is at. Like I said, yeah, no, good lift good. for me, a bad lift for me. But uh, I definitely, personal wise. How I many times have you done a regular deadlift in your life before? Actually, never. I don't. De I usually do stiff leg deadlifts. I, I just started learning, like the deadlifts and, and squats right. uh, about six months ago. My right. squats were terrible. So I think a lot of people would be excited about winning full 505. Yeah. Today. Is there any yeah. other exercise? Have you ever had 505 in your hands? No. There you go. I mean, when I go out on a club on like a Saturday night. Uh, the, big yeah. Yeah, the, the big girls. Yeah, the big girls. How do you feel, Andrew? I feel uh, as much of a man as a long haired guy can feel like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I train for triathlons, Ironmans, and uh, never really do it. I feel, yeah. I feel like your balls. <laughs> there um, you go, man. Good. Yeah. yeah, you know, strength is never weak. This doesn't matter what sport you're doing, whether you're running really far, whether you're doing pro wrestling, or whether you're just fat. It's always a good idea to try to lift more weight. Strength is never weakness, and that is it from Super Training Gym.